that mobile device is always with you, it's always in your pocket. And it's got internet, it's got a camera, it's got recording capabilities, it has access to all your information, the cloud, and so forth. But it has also has access to all these core commerce, service, and other capabilities that you traditionally use your desktop for. So the intersection of all these things just raises all sorts of possibilities that uh, no one has really embraced or capitalized on yet. And uh, it's just very, very exciting for us to look at those possibilities and find new ways to help our customers and their travel experience. It's really resetting everything we know about human interface design and, and user interactions. And we're seeing it's, it's a whole blossoming of capabilities and ideas where it feels like every few months someone is raising the bar on what's possible and what good looks like. And it's been a long time, I mean, really, since, since the advent of the web that we've had a greenfield opportunity to start over and look at how should we be leveraging all these modern capabilities and technologies in innovative ways. And the, it's, the field is open for everybody right now. It's, it's really, really exciting. You know, somewhere, depending on the, the reports you look at, say 10 to even 25% of all email that a large company sends out is being read on mobile devices. And the goal of these emails is to inform and engage your customers. And if they engage, if they actually click on the links on these emails, the question is, on their mobile device, where do they go? Have you built the web pages that are mobile optimized? Have you built experiences that understand they're on a mobile device? I mean, even just something as simple as deep linking into a website based on whatever it is that they're clicking on has challenged many, many mobile initiatives, which have often been these sandboxed mobile sites that are separate from the core website. So getting the mainline commerce, the mainline web capabilities into these alternate channels has really turned a lot of the core infrastructure on its head. Uh, we have to solve these things. We are solving these things. But it's a, it's a very interesting challenge. Mobile is, is kind of like going to a new country. And to merely presume if we take what we have on our websites and shift that onto a small screen, that the behavior will be the same and the needs will be the same, you fail miserably. And we've, we've had our mistakes there and are learning from that. Um, what's interesting and what we're tracking is what are they doing and how do they behave differently as it is quite different. And the better you can understand that, the better you can provide something that they're looking for. Users are looking to interact with travel in new ways. There is a, an ecosystem of, of devices and access points that didn't exist, whether it be tablets, phones, interactive TV, or other devices, um, and the difference of using apps versus web. And uh, we are very heavily investing and, and believe that it's of utmost strategic importance to recognize this is how people want to interact with us, and this is where we need to be. This is a very, very new industry, and, and there isn't a lot of common knowledge out there. Uh, we are all figuring it out as we go. And uh, a great way to do that is to learn from each other, share with our peers, and, and help advance the industry the way we all want.